Flood Them With Hope. That's the name of the fundraising campaign some young students in Aurora launched to help flood victims in eastern Kentucky. Local 12's Kristen Cornett stopped by the school to see their hard work in action. See when you walk into Aurora Elementary are these handmade signs. We've been collecting school supplies and um, first aid stuff. Middle school teacher Sonia Gabbard teamed up with her fellow teachers to help students organize a way to support flooding victims in eastern Kentucky. We've watched a lot of videos and pictures and it's sad. It means a lot because I know that these guys being so close to the Ohio River it's firsthand for some of them because they've experienced the flooding in Aurora. The idea launched into a project spanning three grades and two schools. We need your help. The students made this video themselves and sent it out to the Aurora community to help spread the word. For them to see that and actually say we want to help someone else was the big thing. Um, that showed me that they were caring for people outside of their community. What does it mean to you to be able to help out? A lot, and I feel like the people in Kentucky are gonna be really happy. I think they will be too. So not only have the students been able to collect all these supplies at their schools, they've also been working with their teachers and doing some pretty really, really interesting, at least I think, projects kind of tying into the flooding. One of them in their engineering class, they've been able to design and learn about how flood barriers work. In addition to that, they've in their applications class or apps class, they've learned how to make their very own emergency alert weather apps, which is pretty cool. So a fun way for teachers to kind of tie in a current event like that one into every day learning. So the donation drive started at the beginning of the school year is going to run through Thursday. After that, Sonia Gabbard, the teacher who you heard from there, her and her sister have family in that area. And they're both actually teachers here in the district and they're going to plan on driving those donations down themselves. So some stuff coming in from the tri-state down into eastern Kentucky to help out. But for now, reporting live in Aurora, Kristen Cornett, Local 12 News. So sweet hearing from those kids too. Thank you, Kristen.